What's up guys, it's Fee here. Welcome back to Omega The Beginning. Alright, so after a bunch of a bunch of researches and stuff, reading, cracking, opening the mind of everything, I finally cracked the code guys. And the code is 957. Alright, that was just a little bit of miscalculation. It actually it is the code is five nine seven. See? I'm a genius. Don't tell me how I found it because I never know how. I actually watch it on YouTube. I hate myself for that one. Okay, the crack open. No mystery will go un unresolved with detective's cut. Let's see what pressure things you treasure. There's a message addressed to me. Hi Scott. Sorry I didn't make it. My mother was really beside herself this time. I escaped to the old water. <laughs> to the old tower. That abandoned place I used as a storage room. Reach me there as soon as possible. I have something very important to tell you. His left leg is a fake leg. That's maybe because of the car accident that happened. I think someone is following me and I don't feel safe. Cool, your mother? I'll wait for you there, Kenny. I'll be right there, pal. Okay, so Kenny is waiting at the old tower. Maybe only we know what tower, which tower it is. Water, I got it by myself. <laughs> okay, Kenny, I'm coming to save you, buddy. I go ride my bike like I never ride it so fast before. And what are you doing here? Uh, hello, Mary. I was look, I was looking for Kenny. Ten, Kenny is my my girl accent sucks. Well, actually, we had a bit of an agreement a few hours ago, and now he's in his room. She's lying. Anyway, your mother called me. She was all worried. She said she hasn't had any news from you for hours. You shouldn't make her worry so much. Yeah, perhaps I should go now. I've been out since this morning. Exactly, Scott. You really should go. She's lying. She's mad. You're right. Tell Timmy I'll see him tomorrow. Sure, I will. But go now. Damn. Did you just say, get out of my house, you little prick? 3 p.m. Alright. Okay, Timmy. Oh, she didn't see me come in. She'll be furious. Oh, is that our mother? That's right, Scott! I swear to God. Tanny's, uh, Scott's mother looks more alike, uh, looks more like Tanny's mother. Like Tanny's, I mean. And Tanny's mother looks like, more like Scott. What the frick is this? I really am furious. Oh, man. I'm done for. Shit, my mother. Now keep your big mouth shut and go straight to your room. I don't want to see you around until tomorrow morning. Damn, way to be a mom, mom. Sorry, mom, my bike broke down. I was at tennis. I can explain. Let's tell the truth. Of course, you were at tennis. I know perfectly well. Okay, at least she didn't tell me lies. She didn't lie to me, I mean. Maria just informed me. She said she didn't even hear you, hear you go in. Shame on you. Didn't I teach you any manners? We're talking about the basics, for heaven's sake. So it's good morning and good evening. How did you get in? Uh, but it was she who didn't hear us. You're not trying to turn the tables, are you? No. Don't mess with me. This is serious matter. Sorry, Mom. 
You've been out since this morning. Do you realize how worried I've been? I even called the police to get them to come look for you. What the hell got into you? The friendship mother. No more excuses now. Go straight to your room. 11 p.m. There, we got grounded, guys. So hard that we couldn't go out for like five, eight hours. What? Okay. We have to be so damn sneaky, picky, licky, licky. Because some parents cannot know we're going out. Now that they're all asleep, I can sneak out. I just need to get out without making any noise. Are you kidding me? If my mom catches me now, it's the end of me for all eternity. Okay, there's a bottle over there. Okay, let's not make any noises. Okay, what is the code? I cannot read that. No? Okay. I know that we have to get out, but there's a toolbox. Can we do anything? Come on. Uh huh. Skill job is exactly what I needed. Good for precision work and for the domestic vandalism. Okay, we got ourselves a screwdriver. Five, three, four, five. Okay, so the code is still the same. Let's uh, screw the fuse box. Oh yeah! Come with the poor man's who did. Damn. We hacked the code, we cracked the door, and we opened the way to heaven to meet our friend. Ow, my freaking ears. That was loud as hell. So, this is the tower that Ten is at right now. Actually, have to say this. It is indeed a beautiful place. A little too blocky, if you understand what I mean. Okay, Tenny. It's 12 p.m. Don't talk to strangers at this time. Ghost comes out. Anything will happen. Well, the hell is he now? He was supposed to be here. He is, and he will be here. And there's no sign of his bike either. A magnificent, unbeatable, invincible, steel rocket. I'm attached to this bike. You sure? Uh, what just happened? We have two different parts. Holy hell. Okay, let's go over here first. There's nothing in the trash cabin. No. There's a box over uh, I mean, brick over there. I cannot pick it up. Anything over here? Hello? The tower. The story of this building building is rooted in an ancient myth. Legend has it that a, a con conqueror from a faraway land was taken hostage by local inhibitions, inhibitions and locked up inside the tower. But what seemingly should have been a harsh con confinement, confinement turned out to be something else. The owner of the tower befriended the young conqueror and even tried to smuggle him to freedom inside a large basket. And that the picture on the right side is the tower in the real life. It is pretty. And it has some meats to it. Which is really cool. I mean, what else is there to do? This damn door is jammed again. Kenny taught me how to open it a few months ago. You just hit the handle hard and Bob's your uncle. Nice. There's uh, something over here, no? Can we do anything? There's bricks. I have an idea. What idea? What is, are we going to break the door with the bird, with the bricks? Anything over here? Holy shit. I didn't see anything. Did I clear up? My heart jumped so hard, man. I swear to God, that scared me. Like, devil did this. Okay, let's take the brick. Oh, we actually opened it. 
Ooh. Is Teddy inside here? Teddy! Hi Scott, it's good to see you. I believe that you're here. I really need your help. It's good to see you too, Teddy. How was your holiday? Lousy as usual. That place is like a wartime brink. Sounds like fun. How's your leg? The usual. My mother is convinced that place is good for my condition. But it's not true and I, I can't get her to understand. What do you need? Where's your bike? Uh, what do you need? I've lost the black spray paint. Pan, paint, whatever. Can you help me find it? Sure. Let's play it like in the good old days. I look among these shelves. Why you check over there among those bricks? Okay, what's this? We already found it. Oh, secret passage. Uh, the arm is kind of freaking out over there. Holy shit. Oh, GG. Teddy! Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shitty, shitty, shitty nickels. Oh hell! What do I do now? Okay, I've got to kill Kong. There must be some way out of here. Shine above? Hang on. Where does that music come from? Uh, Tammy, you alright, buddy? Luckily, he's only passed out. I have to find a way to get him to safety. Okay, Tammy. We just met and that's what happened to you? Pathetic. Useless freak. Anyway, I'm going to check if the pain is over here now. Or uh, maybe yes, maybe no. Okay, there's nothing over here. Get out of my memory, Tammy. There's some bricks over here. Per quell astrodia motivo questi matonis orgono da muro. Vista la tragica situazione. Non credo sia alimento di cotegao geti senza motivo. If that's Spanish, Italianos, Russian, German, whatever it is, I'm sorry. I don't know to I don't know how to read it. I just read it however I wanted to. And I think that the developers didn't want to change or maybe translate it to English or whatever like that. Uh, okay, whatever. Whatever. What is this bars? This wooden bars close in just a few seconds. We are right trapped. Okay, let's see what's the music upstairs. This looks creepy. It looks like some kind of a horror game. Okay, let's open this wooden door. It's actually in the middle of my night for me right now, so I have to keep... Oh, hello there, Robin Hood. I have to keep silent. Ah, woman. Let me give this guy the best accent I can. Wait, what? I'm playing as this guy now? What the hell? There's a table over here. Sollywood, dirty and smelly enough. Okay. Request sheet. <laughs> Request to guard. Water, food, sheet of paper, and blankets. Okay, my guy. It's not clean or comfortable. But at least there's a bed. This is the most solid, hard rock ass bed I have ever seen in my life. How do you even sleep? That's not even a pillow, that's literally a rock, my guy. How poor are you? Let's see. Hey, uh, hey, Mascalzo Latino, how is it going today? Don't bother me. Prisoner. <laughs> Can you see I'm busy? <laughs> Busy doing what? Nice new gloves? Still germ? Obviously oh, he's germ, are you cutting me? Uh huh. Okay, so still he's germ. How do you get out of here? Ha! 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 <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Nice new gloves. Hey, are you trying to flat? Flatter me? <laughs> of course not. You're not someone who needs flattery, are you? 
What do you mean? Good. I'm not in your class. Fighting each battle like a real man. Drawing the sword and crying out to your last breath for the purest, purest ideal. Uh, affording such fine accessories as yours. You mean my gloves, don't you? <clears throat> Hell, it won't work. What won't work? Uh, nothing. Okay, so you're still drunk? This is absolutely not true. Hmm? You're right, you're a balladier. I heard it from one of your words. These answers are so damn shitty. I'm not sure why I want to tell him this sort of thing. Seriously, are you heartless or what? I am a flower? Hmm? Who left me a fool from a flower? That's what I meant. Hmm, okay. I heard it from one of someone who poses as a buddy of yours. He said he saw you steal the last crate of milk. <coughs> he said he wants to report you to your commander. Who? Who was it? He come to a bad end if I catch him. <coughs> Who was it? Tell me. Hey, calm down, big boy. I'm on your side. But I need something in exchange. Uh, what do you want? <coughs> the doors of Long Cot could come in handy. First, tell me who it was. <coughs> Wait, what? Uh, it was Jack. Damn, this is niche. <coughs> One, two, five, three, three, two, four. One five two three three freak. This is the express. Pressing order. Mm. But don't tell anyone. Please, please, prisoners mustn't hear about it. Mm. Now all I have to do is write the code down and put it in safely away. Okay, he thank God he remembered it <laughs> because I don't. <laughs> uh, not over here. Over here, maybe. Where can I write the code, man? In the bed? On the bed, I mean? Uh, not once, not twice. <gasps> we got some paper sheet, boy. Uh, what is it? Let me see. Uh, how do you open it? A blank sheet. Okay, let's write it there. I, I literally forgot the code, man. My memory is so damn short term. Like, you don't even know. I even forget what I'm eating every day, to be honest. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 5, 3, 3, 2, 4. 1, 2, 5, 3, 3, 2, 4. Che bizarre combination, eh? Combination, I don't know. I suck. <laughs> 1, 2, 5, 3, 3, 2, 4. Okay. Um, how can I open it? Hello? Oh, there's a brick. What? Okay. I have this note here. Uh, it will be, I will be free tonight. Yep, we are escape, boy. Wait, so who was that guy anyway? Did we just go uh, back in time or something like that? The door was open. It looks like no one set foot in here for ages. Did you just really have to go through all of that stuff just to tell me how the door was open? I mean, like, there is no reason for that, really. Don't you guys think so? The door could be open for some whatever reason. We don't need to know why. Eh, anyway. Ah, oh, so we know where's the code. I see. Smart break, big moves. I see, I see. Okay, anyway. An ancient note. Oh man, I feel like Indiana Jones. Okay. Can I? Okay, I got stuck there for a little bit. 
Uh, where does this code go though? Anything over here? No? I click. Get out of here. Let's go down. I, I bet you Tenny has become a zombie. Or maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we have to type uh, to block the nose over here, maybe. Uh, what was it again? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I need to see the code again. One, two, five, three, three, two, four. This note is really ancient, okay. One, two, five, three, three. I already messed it up. Two, four. Or maybe not. Those damn bars are finally open. And this is my second perfect escape in just a few hours. You get grounded so hard, your butt will escape from your ass. What else could possibly go wrong? Hang in there, Teddy. I'll call for help. Wait, we didn't get to investigate outside the freaking tower, though. Okay. So we can go and go call for help now. Mm hmm That's something, I suppose. Oh, shit. Our bike? Oh, no. Where's my bike? Someone stole it. First Tenny, now my bike? What the hell is going on? Wait, Tenny uh, did it on accident, so I don't think the bike uh, relates anything to Tenny. What a shitty evening. How this damn phone works at least. That bike uh, loss reminds me that uh, my brother used to drive, uh, ride his bike in, in, the, on the, in the park and then one day he lost it because he left it in, beside near a tree. Someone uh, took his bike and my father beat him with the bell. It's just something I wanted to talk about, you know. Now you know more about me. There's a sign from the mayor's office. The historical park is closed for renovation work. Unauthorized entry is strictly forbidden. The speed of this public works never ceases to amaze me. It's been in this state for at least five years. Okay, they are officially abandoning. Whatever. There's nothing in here. Okay. Let's try to use the phone. We don't have money. Wait, I do have. Yuck! Revolting. Before the call is over, I have to cut some fall disease. But Teddy needs my help. I'll make an exception. Just this once. Just this once. You remember that, Teddy? This is because of you. And who can I call now? Ambulance, Teddy's dad, police, my mother. The police? I mean, like someone took our bike. Uh, Teddy is uh, hurt, so we can just take call the police, both self, you know? Absolutely not. Generally, I don't have problems with the law, but they don't like people hanging around here. Better clear out and avoid any trouble. So I think the tennis dad is the most uh, perfect option because he is the chill guy. No, I don't think that's a good idea. They could close this place down once and for all. And tennis dad. Yep, see? Sure! Jordan is a reasonable man. He'll know how to help me. How do you know his phone number? The freak? Come on, pick it up. Pick it up, Joe. Sir, this is Scott. What do you mean, Scott? Who? Tennis friend. Yes, sure. I'm happy to speak to you too. But please come to the old tower in the public gardens immediately. It's an emergency. It's about Tenny. My guy, my tiny boy has literally been passed out for like five hours or something. I'm bad at maths. Don't expect me to do any kind of math with late game. Hello there, Mr. Scott. Uh, Mr. Channel. What's up, my comrade? How's Tanny? He's better now. The doctor said not to worry. 
In the morning, he'll wake up with a large bum in the middle of his head. But he'll be okay. I hope he's learned his lesson. Things could have ended a lot, a lot worse. And you shouldn't have humored him. I didn't humor him anything. I'm really sorry, sir. Things suddenly got ugly. Stop making excuses, Cod. You two shouldn't have been there. That place has been unsafe for years. You ran away without telling us. Can be fun for hours. And who knows what else you get up with, get up with to when you're together. I don't know what to say. It won't happen again. I know you're sorry, Scott. And I realize that Tammy is going through a particularly tough period. I'm constantly aware of it. Samuel's going away to military school certainly didn't make things any easier. But since the day of the accident, Tammy has not been the same. He's withdrawn and finds it hard to speak to anyone. He was always an introverted child, but never to this extent. I think some, kid have, some kids have been bullying him because of his fake lag. That's messed up, let me tell you that. That accident ruined your life. I feel so bad, bad about it. So bad. So, so bad about it. No. You mustn't. It wasn't your fault. You know very well that car appeared all of a sudden. And he didn't even stop to render aid. Yeah, just like from the heavens above it appeared, you know? If it hadn't been for you, Teddy would, have, Teddy would still be bleeding on the side of that damn road. Living with guilt feelings wouldn't help at all, Scott. You're already doing a lot for our Teddy. And we are truly grateful for this. He's a different person when he is with you. He's happy. Even if occasionally we get up to no good? Yes. Even if occasionally get up to no good. Oh shit, my mother. What was that? I wouldn't know. It seems pretty quiet around here. Probably a blast of wind. The forecast said we're in for a fair storm tonight. Perhaps it's time I went home. Right. You don't want your mother to worry even more, do you? What do you mean tonight is already 3 a.m.? The night has already been gone! Or maybe I'm just mistaken something. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't see your bike. Shall I drive you home? No, thanks. Uh, I mean, no thanks. The show will do me good. As you like, Scott. It's 3 a.m. and he's going home. Like that? Alone? Good night. Good night, sir. See you tomorrow. Well, our mom is going to spank her ass so hard because we lost our bike. Even though it wasn't our fault. <laughs> um, okay, his tennis dad's just going to stand there, staring at the bleeding. Now, here's the crazy guy out here. Wait. Did he? Wait, 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 wait. It, it cannot be here, right? Because uh, we just heard someone uh, do a loud noise from the back. And he and put in the freaking bike there. I don't think it's Tenny there, to be honest. See what happens when you stand between me and Tenny? The bike is just the beginning. Who is this guy? <laughs> Why is he pretending to be so badass? Seriously, you could you could just uh, continue to be continued, my guy. Okay, I, I'll make exception for that last uh, bit of English. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, when you try to be badass, but you're just so stupid. He just took, took over the mic. Is that really something scary? Ooh, a game by Monkey Tails Studio. Thank you, Matthew Rudolf, 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 for making this game. Um, I'm waiting for the other chapters. I don't know if they're free or not, but I hope they're free <laughs> because I cannot afford to buy it. Ah oh, man, 
Yeah, it was fun, actually. I really enjoyed the, the first chapter. Uh, many mysteries in, in solved. And many mysteries solved as well. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Eh, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. And as always, guys, stay awesome. Bye bye.